little over a year ago, we made a video talking about the U.S. Army opening up older ammunition plants. And now with the sheer volume of ammunition going to Europe, both from the U.S. and Europe, uh, manufacturers, both military and private sectors, they just simply can't keep up. Uh, as we talk to the private sector of ammo manufacturers here in the U.S., what is very clear is obviously government contracts go first and they can't keep up. They just simply can't keep up. So now what we're seeing is the U.S. government is investing $2 billion into amping up five different ammo manufacturing plants for the U.S. Army, as well as a lot of that money's to amp up the private sector as well for military contracts only. Don't get your hopes up. But what they're doing is they're ultimately spending $2 billion specifically for ammo going to Europe, unfortunately. And their plan is to expand Army ammunition plants in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Holston, Tennessee, Redford, Virginia, Middleton, Iowa, and Independence, Missouri, and again, the private sector. Uh, this is something we haven't seen in our lifetime. You know, I know they did a lot of stuff like this during World War II, but you know, in my lifetime, we haven't seen them do this with ammo. More so has there been such a, a dire need for ammo for the military. You know, when we dealt with our, uh, our ammo shortage, that was more of a private thing because uh, Lake City Ammo and a few of these others were pumping out ammo for the U.S. Army and military installations and the private sectors were pumping out ammunition for the military and uh, police. And then we kind of got the end of it, but we suffered because we went out and, and, and mass purchased and, and there just wasn't enough to keep up with the demand. But the military did not. The military did not at all. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't run short whatsoever, but they are now. And this is, uh, this is something that we have to take a look at is, we're not even engaged as a country in a, a military engagement with our soldiers. You know, our guns are not shooting this ammo. This is all going uh, to foreign wars um, and they just simply can't keep up. The manufacturers in the US and Europe, um, I'm sure Europe is doing a similar thing. I'm not aware of it, but what I do know is as of now, two billion dollars going into uh, ammo production uh, in u.s army facilities um, so we'll see how this goes uh, but right now they can't keep up uh, they need to invest two billion probably more than that and i think we're going to see them be spending more than that in the months to come so uh, any thoughts or insights you might have on this if you live in those areas anybody that works at those facilities you know, because these army facilities are still run by the private, I mean, they're army facilities, but they're run by private sectors. Um, if you know anybody that has any insight into what's going on with amping up uh, these U.S. military ammunition plants, uh, put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.